Welcome back to the Star League, ladies and gentlemen, live on Nexon Arena. My name is Valdez. Join with me is Moonglade. And we just had Maru get out of the group in first place. He did indeed, my friend Valdez. He did indeed. Now it's going to be up against Hurricane and Lenox to see who faces Zest in that final best of three. So this is actually an interesting matchup, and that's because Hurricane, we've seen like a pretty good best of five series against Rogue. You know, obviously Rogue, uh, he had some hard times there with his he crumbles. mentality. He crumbles he, like a biscuit. Yeah, that's pretty much. That's being <laughs> by Zest. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I think Hurricane's got a chance. I mean, he, he definitely has a chance here against Lenok. I guess, I'm yeah. very curious to see the maps, too. I agree, actually. Against Lenok, especially, because Lenok's style is so glaringly obvious at this point. And, I mean, we just saw a best of three with Lenok playing against the Protoss. And he's still playing that way. He's still playing, you know, got to go for the goal first. Got to go for that mass Roachling style. And if we see Hurricane play against that kind of style, I think he's, he's going to be completely prepared for it. And I know for sure that Hurricane has prepared for Lenok. Because yeah. I mean, when you when you look at the best of, uh, oh, sorry, when you look at the group, you got Hurricane against Mario. He's thinking to himself, "Well, I'm probably gonna lose that one. He's gonna lose from the other best three. It's gonna be Lenok. Okay, so I should prepare for Lenok and then deal with Zest after that." Yeah, definitely. Very well said, Moonlid. Going into the maps here that have been banned and will be played. Merry Go Round banned off for Hurricane. No surprise there. But King Sage Station doesn't want to play that against Lenok. You know, frequently PVZs on that map. I guess can go a bit later and maybe not so comfortable there, but I mean, with the Swarmo nerf, I guess it would have changed a little bit there. Yeah. Um, yeah. With Deadwing banned out for Lenok as well as Cactus Valley, I like those two maps banned out. Well, you see, one sort of uh, trend with those maps is every single map has gold. And you know what? I think Hurricane might have done that on purpose. <laughs> He's like, well, I want you to do that, Lenok. It's definitely possible. Maybe just the Protosters have figured out how to deal with it, and they're like, okay, Lenok, if you want to be this predictable, just do it. Yep. We'll kill you. But guys, it's going to be Hurricane versus Lenok here. Lenok with his purple hair going up against the Hurricane. The Swirling Winds trying to take him down. It's Overgrowth for set number one. This is the loser's match. The winner of this will go on to face Zest in the final match of the night to decide the second place player to get out of the group. Let's jump into the game right now on Overgrowth. Down here in the bottom left, in the blue, our friend from Samsung Galaxy Khan, Protoss player, he is Hurricane. And up here in the top right, we do have the Zerg player, Lenok, lover of gold bases everywhere. Yeah. He's in love with the gold. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think just Protoss is at this point have figured it out. Like the first time it was a bit surprising. They were like, oh, wow, I don't know how to deal with this exactly. Yeah, it's kind of like a big spike in the early game of, if, uh, of economy, but it's also on a very exposed base. It's, it's very out there. It can be dealt with in time. So as long as Protoss players don't freak out and try and kill it too early, like in the time of when Roaches are the strongest, they should be able to handle it like Zest did very convincingly in game yeah. one especially. Game two was a little more, uh, I guess, stressful for Zest. He had to really go the distance. This guy's freaking out because Lenox's doing it again. <laughs> he can't keep getting away with this. This is not okay. Yeah, But it will be. And this it's time it's at the forward one. Yeah, it's the aggressive one. I was about to say that, actually. We're on the same page, Moonlight. We are on the same page, Valdez. <laughs> We're reading the same book. And how will Hurricane deal with this one, and how is Lenox going to play this one? So I feel like Lenox is, is going to be a lot more aggressive this time. He's going to be making those roaches at the front door and trying to end this a lot quicker. Hurricane back at home. He's going to scout this, and he should know for sure. I mean, even 
even when he was, uh, when Leonok was playing against Zest, I'm sure Hurricane was in the back room like, oh, I got to study for this. Because I, he had to know that there was a high chance that Leonok would go down to Zest. So he's like, okay, I got to learn actually how to go up against this gold base. Let me learn from my young Zest yeah. exactly what to do. Yeah, exactly that. He had a perfect you know, couple of games to see what was going on, how Zest would deal with this. And he's like, well, you know, I could do that. I could do that. Or yeah. he might even have something stronger in plan. You know, he might have actually thought about Leonok a lot more than Zest did and really ha was like worried about him. He's like, well, this is my chance to at least get uh, one best of three mm. playing against this very singular style Zerg. Yeah, it's so funny. We, I mean, usually players have styles and they have like little gimmicks that they like to do on occasion. You know, SOS with this cannon rushing, Maru with this two racks, but this is just becoming like literally every time. It's like, if there's a gold base, Leonok will take it. Yeah, and don't forget, Hurricane let him take every single map with the goal base. Yeah. He did it on purpose. He didn't let that go just by mistakes. He's like, well, I want you to do this because I know exactly what you're going to do and I know exactly how I'm going to deal with it. Let's see exactly what he does. That's a question for me. Zealot going to come out, protect the natural for now, but there isn't going to be a wall at the top of the ramp, but a stalker will pop out. Time to deal with these Zerglings, and Leonok knows this as well. He's just going to try to save them for now. Yeah, he's getting a little scout off to see exactly what's going on. Already a different approach, you know. He knows that Leonok doesn't like to make that many Lings early, early on, so he can afford to wait. Doesn't have to invest in cannons. Just make some, uh, make a Zealot Stalker, Mothership Core, and it's more than enough to deal with the Lings. Speed's going to be out very soon, though, so he's got to be kind of careful here. Follow-up Forge. Okay. 12 oh, lings. Yeah. He's got a small window to kill some drones and maybe get out of dodge. Zealot's going to stick around. Stalker has to be careful against those queens. Oh, he lost control of the Zealot as well. Yeah, Zealot only getting one kill. Yuck. Mm. Okay, not the best micro from Hurricane. Yeah. Now sure. speed is done. Speed is done. Stalker is trapped outside here. He's 12 lings. Maybe able to get some damage on the Stalker. Going to get a nice surround and take out the Stalker. Oh! Two get through, and now they're getting to work on that sentry, force the full probes. Yeah, this actually is surprisingly a, a lot of damage considering Hurricane knew exactly the build that Leonok was doing. Kind of surprising, but doesn't lose too much, I guess. So Zelda and the Stalker so far. And what's the follow-up going to be is the next question. It could just be Immortals. Yeah. But that's also, I feel like, playing into what Leenok will do. Because Leenok's obviously going to go for Mass Roach Sling, and he's going to get them out a lot faster than these Immortals are going to get out. So I worry for that. I, I worry that might be the wrong choice. Yeah, I, I, I do have to say, I, I definitely do like Zest's approach. You know, just going for Stargate, you can put on some pressure with the Oracle. You can also transition into a third base if you want, but then with that Stargate, you can make those Void Rays to deal with the Roaches instead of the Immortals. Oh, it's going to be a close one. He's going to see it for sure. Going to create a bit of an awkward situation. There's going to be Immortals. Mm. So I'd have to assume there's going to be some kind of two-base Immortal play, trying to shut down that gold base pretty early here, and let's see how that does exactly. Yeah, it's definitely going to be that, but uh, the fact that Leonox already identified that, he's like, well, I guess I just got to semi-drain up my third base, maybe make a couple of spines at my third, uh, sorry, at my gold base, that's the Ford base, and just mass Roach Ling. And from here, he's going to have more than enough to kind of crush the army, at least in the early time. If, uh, I guess, if Hurricane trades efficiently and the ball gets bigger and bigger, it will get to a point when it's going to be super cost efficient against the Mass Roach, as we do see usually what happens. Mm -hmm. but even this creep spread is going to be more than enough to really help out dealing and flanking. Yeah, uh, the Burrow is interesting to me because he did see the Robo, but maybe he's like, okay, he's probably just going to be making Immortals and stuff. I, I don't really need to worry about Observers out here for now. This could be a, actually a War Prism drop to kind of get him out of position so he can move out on the map. I get that feeling that it might be. It's either that or it's simply the War Prism is going to carry over the Immortals and he's going to Immortal all in from there. But I don't think this is the answer that uh, is going to work out. Look at that. Already a huge army. 20 army supply lead, essentially, for Leenok. 
Yeah, he's more than prepared for this. And we do see the uh, the Immortals moving out in that War Prism towards that gold. Pretty sure Creep Tomb is seizing. Yeah, yeah, he sees it. <laughs> well, hmm. Big mistake. He may go try to go behind that gold. I'm not sure if the Immortals can actually reach. Yeah, is it going to be the gold or is it going to be the main base is the question. Ooh. All right, gold base. Yep. Tries to go for a warp in, but no way that's going to work. He's just going to have to pick off, pick up and go back down here on the low ground. This is actually getting some decent damage. Two drones do go down. Yeah, you know, Immortal Drops are so efficient against this kind of army composition. And here we go. Here comes the move out. Got stuff out of position. This is actually a big threat, you know, because the Immortals obviously come out, which in a, a learned does so much damage, but then you can warp in a number of Zealots. And you can really force the Zerg out of position for this. Yeah. But at the same time, that Burrow and Burrow movements specifically are going to finish up. Uh-oh, that Warp Prism getting pretty oh. low. Over three health. Oh. And he's going to lose those two Immortals. Maybe save one. Wow. Nice positioning with the Queens. It's pretty insane. Now, Leonok trying to go for an Infestation Pit. Uh, Bard Roach is, you know... Should be enough to deal with this. That is a lot of sentries, though, and a nice choke. Uh, gonna oh go for the counterattack. Free Immortal. There's only one cannon here. No sentry, no block. Oh, wow. Everything is gonna get through. Everything is going wrong right now. And he's even been delayed with those roaches, so he's losing so many probes at the natural. He can run into the main base now if he wants to. He's pretty much lost all of his uh, natural base mining. And is there even an observer on the map? There is one. Yeah, there's one there. There it is. So look at that. Three getting to the main. 20 probes have gone down. Oh, one survives in the natural as well for later. 20 that probes, so man. This is, this is way too much damage. Yep. For, and this is giving so much time to just make even more roaches. He's got plus two almost finished as well. Yeah, he does so much damage, but at the same time, he buys himself so much time. And it just looks like... I don't know, Zest is much better at handling the situation. Wow, the burrow there on the oh, queen. Oh, no, it's still too much HP, but that was a really cool move. <laughs> Leonok now going for a hive. At nice. this point, he could pretty much do anything. He could just go ultras. No, yeah. he didn't want to go ultras well, anymore. <laughs> but he could. He so could if he, he wanted to, maybe. He'd still probably win. Maybe he wants like plus three or something on his roaches. Who knows? The army is getting pretty big for Hurricane there. So he, he has to take a pretty smart fight. He doesn't want to fight this choke, I don't think. I, that would be a bad, bad idea. There. But might be just looking for that counterattack again, actually. Yeah. Maybe just delaying, like forcing out a bunch of force fields. Burrow back up, burrow back up. Threaten from behind. Get us around like this. I guess the force do. fields, they go to the right side. They, they get all those roots on the right side actually out of the fight. And he's only fighting against half of the Zerg army right now. Oh, great pickups on these Immortals, and I think he's going to have more than enough to get rid of these Roaches. Wow, that one super weak Immortal survives, and even the hallucinated Immortal really cued here at a Hurricane. More Forest Fields going to force Leenok back with the Burrow and Burrow movements. They're equal. Oh, wait. They're... Okay, they're not equal anymore. 20 <laughs> supply lead for, for Leenok. I was going to look at army supply, but I think the army of Hurricane is just too big for Roaches to deal with it now. There's simply too many Stalkers. He did get rid of a lot of the uh, Immortals, which really is going to help out a lot. If he can get rid of this Gold base and save his Natural, this would be absolutely huge. I'm not sure how he's going to save his base back at home, though. He's pretty much committing to this, actually, at this point in time. Hurricane going full on to this Gold base. There's nothing back at home to defend. Even the Mothership Core going with it. He can recall if he wants to. Oh, look at that. Even picking up some probes. Yeah, it looks like he's going to try to go for some kind of base race. Doesn't have enough for a Nexus. Yeah, and immediately Leonok prepares for it. Four Spines coming down in the main. While he gets rid of the rest of the buildings here in the main of Leenok. Or rather, of uh, Hurricane. Yeah, well, he can get rid of the natural. Maybe if he would get rid of the natural and then recalls. I feel like he has to recall. He absolutely has to recall. He's going to get a decent amount of drones there, actually, at the natural. Yeah, he lost his natural and he lost his main, so I guess he isn't recalling after all. He's going to try and go for it, but he can't get through that. Not with these spine crawlers up. Nice little donation sentry there. Yeah, so many spines down here. 
He's being revealed now. He isn't a Nexus. Gonna try to burrow back. And Hurricane just trying to force it at this point. This is his last ditch effort trying to kill Lenok here. Oh, now the Ridge has come from behind as <laughs> oh, well. God. And yeah, he must have burnt a lot of his forces at this point. There should not be that many left over as I say that. He might be able to... No, no. That Immortal is way too low as well. I mean, he might be able to force heal the ramp, but it doesn't seem to matter at this point. The rest of his army being totally cleaned up and GG. Nice work from Lenark and I guess kind of a disappointing style from Hurricane in my oh, opinion. Yeah. I, I do not agree. Very disappointed. Um, after, you know, like we were talking about, he kind of let Lenok have his gold based maps and we were like, oh, this guy's going to have something really prepared for this. He wants to kill him on the gold based maps and then he plays right into Lenok's hand and just lets it all go. Yeah. I mean, I guess he was just trying to stay on two base and just get up like an unbelievable amount of immortals to deal with the huge roach army of Lenok. You know, maybe he was watching the games before with Zest versus Lenok and so and saw how long Lenok actually stayed on only roaches and links and thought, hey, I'll just go on two base, try to almost max out and like roach, or not roach, uh, immortal stalker sentry and just try to kill him in one go. But I feel like also that counter attack just did too, ma too much damage to him at the natural. And losing that immortal with the drop, you know, it didn't yeah. help at all. Like we really needed every single immortal with that army to kind of steamroll the roaches. And he almost did it, you know, he, he managed to beat the army off Killed his gold base, but instead of going for this big counter attack and trying to base trade, he should have actually just pulled back, maybe even recalled, defended one of these bases specifically, or more importantly, the, the natural base that has all the minerals, yeah. and play from there on equal bases.